Joining us on the Rich Eisen Show right now on the Mercedes-Benz Vans phone line is the head coach of Notre Dame football. We are, if I'm not mistaken, 39 days from the time that Notre Dame will kick off the season against Marcus Freeman's alma mater, The Ohio State University. The head coach of Notre Dame football, Marcus Freeman, back here on the program. How are you, sir? I'm great, Rich. Thanks for having me back. Uh, Are you going to um, now try and win an Academy Award before a national championship? (laughs) Based on the video we saw today, Coach? Oh, de- definitely not. You know, I'm more concerned with, you know, preparing this team mm-hmm. for uh, an unbelievable 22 season. Well, but it, it looked like a lot of fun of you shooting this video, right? It, it was. It was. To be able to go out to Las Vegas and, you know, our creative team here at Notre Dame is unbelievable. And to spend a couple of times, a, a day out there with your players and, and do that, it was a, a really cool way to unveil the the Shamrock Series uniform. It's indeed, yes. Yeah. So let's let's jump right into it here. Do you have a quarterback competition for the season, Coach? Do you? Yeah, we we uh, have two guys with Tyler Buckner and Drew Pine, um, both guys that played last year uh, that will go into fall camp that will battle for the uh, starting position, and uh, we love to, to find ways to create that healthy competition. And uh, anytime we can do that, we're going to. So um, that is, as far as you're concerned, still an open question as to who's going to be starting against the Ohio State 39 days from now. Absolutely. Absolutely. Okay. And uh, why is that, Coach? Well, I think think we want to create a competition until we're 100% sure that one guy has um, shown us that he is the guy to to take the realms of the offense and, and run with it. And so um, we, we had a great battle in the spring. I think both guys showed the ability to lead our offense. And um, I don't foresee us having two quarterbacks as we go into Ohio State, but um, the competition is something that we're always going to try to create. Wait a minute. You said Ohio State. It's not the Ohio State? Coach, wait a minute. I don't want to get you in trouble with your alma mater. I mean, they, they trademarked the word the. Did you see? Oh, pardon me, the. Did you see that? Did that cross your path? Anyway, no, I did, I did not see that. They no, did. So, so maybe that's what you're trying to avoid, copyright infringement right there by not saying that word. <laughs> how, how weird will it be, be for you, though, that that's the team that you are trying to take down to start the season in your first game as HC, full regular season uh, HC of the uh, new uh, Notre Dame football program, Coach? Yeah, I would, uh, you know, obviously I have fond memories of my time in Columbus and at Ohio State and um, – you know, fortunate for me, two years ago when I was at Cincinnati, we went to Ohio State and played Ohio State. So uh, I'll be familiar where the visitor locker room is. Hmm. And I know what side of the field to go to. But um, to do it as the head coach will be unique. But I'm excited to take a, a Notre Dame football team and, and to go compete and see, hey, where do we stand versus one of the best teams in the country? What would you describe, Marcus Freeman, your stamp on this program being? What would you – how would you describe that? Well, I, I hope that – you know, you watch a football team that's disciplined and you watch a team that's tough and that that, um, that really, really plays the game um, extremely hard. And, and those are things that I believe we can control. And um, we're always going to be trying to evolve schematically and, and put our team in a position to be successful. But if we, we have to be disciplined, tough, and, and, and definitely uh, play with extreme effort. Marcus Freeman, head coach of Notre Dame football here on the Rich Eisen Show. What's your relationship with name, image, and likeness and everything of that? I'll place that before you, Coach. What do you think? Yeah, we, we, we fully support um, our players being able to benefit off of their name, image, and likeness. And, and at a place like Notre Dame, our players um, have been able to truly maximize their opportunities, and, and I'm in full support of it. Well, in terms of the full support of it, what about uh, the recruiting wars? Has that, have, uh, have you had a, a player uh, that you have targeted in any way, shape, or form to be a Golden Domer told you that their uh, name, image, and likeness deal might be better somewhere else and thus they're going somewhere else unless you match? Has that happened to you yet, Coach? No, that hasn't. You know, we have uh, many recruits want to know what is the whole name, image, and likeness you know about and, and I think there's a lot of different um, misconceptions about what it is. You know, it cannot be used as an enticement, yep. and uh, we like to just explain, hey, here's how our players are benefit off of their name, image, and likeness, and uh, you know, again, show the the positives of of what it can entail here at Notre Dame. Well, the number of coaches that I've heard, um, coach, that have spoken at their respective conference media weeks and media days so far and leading up to that as well have have mentioned that they believe that there are too many programs in the country that are using name image and likeness as an inducement 
and not in the way that you have described it. Have have you found that to be an impediment for you, Coach? No, I, I would I would not say that has been an impediment for us. You know, again, I don't I don't know what other programs are, are telling recruits or provide. That's not my concern. It's more so just hey, what is the pros of name, image, and likeness at, at Notre Dame, and 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 that's what I like to focus on with our recruits and our current players. Well, you might be the only coach that hasn't complained that there needs to be more rules for this sort of thing. To be very honest with you, <laughs> I got a lot of a lot of things to make sure I'm concerned about, it. and and we have uh, people that I'm sure are working to make sure they find the the right balance of of how to continue to help our players truly benefit off of the NIL, but also not let it corrupt the game. And, and uh, I'll let those guys that um, deal with those issues every day kind of figure that thing out. Okay. So you just, uh, I guess, to put a button on it, you're fine with the way that the NIL is set up in college football right now and you're just going about your business. The, I mean, the, the Big Ten uh, commissioner said just yesterday or two days ago that there needs to be federal legislation. Otherwise, from your perspective, from your seat, Everything is copacetic on the NIL front, Marcus? Yeah, Freeman? all I can do is make sure that within the rules um, that are in place currently, that, that I do everything in my power to help our players. Mm-hmm. And, and, and that's the thing I'm focused on. The rules are set. Um, the commissioner set those rules. The president set those rules. And uh, whatever the rules are, that I'm going to do my best to make sure that our players truly maximize their opportunities. Marcus Freeman, Notre Dame Fighting Irish, head football coach here on the Rich Eisen Show. Have you had any conversations with Jack Swarbrick or anybody else about the future of Notre Dame and where you're going to be playing your football as whether an independent or um, another conference? Any any of those conversations cross your desk, Coach? You know what? Very brief. Um, you know, he is, uh, you know, between Jack Swarbrick and Father Jenkins, I know they're always going to make sure that Notre Dame's in a, a position to have success. And, and we obviously love the, uh, the opportunity to be independent, and uh, that's something that we take a lot of pride in. And, but I know they will never put our football program or our university in a place that we will fall behind. And so I let those two uh, make those decisions. And, uh, again, I can continue to focus on this team. So I guess my follow-up question of how badly do you want to join the Big Ten? Should I cross that off my, my, my list right here? How badly do you want to join the Big Ten? Yeah, awesome. I don't um, – you know, I wouldn't sit here and say that, you know, we're <laughs> – we're running to, to join the Big Ten or any other conference. And again, we, we love the, the opportunity to be independent, and uh, you know we're going to continue to do so until I'm told otherwise. Okay, so how are you, um, how are you preparing? Walk me through the next 39 days between now and kickoff, how it's going to work for you, Coach. Yeah, today we had a, our last workout um, before we start fall camp next Thursday, and, and again, our kids have done an unbelievable job this summer developing and pushing themselves and, and – you know, next Thursday we'll we'll begin our fall training camp, and uh, you know, to, to begin to develop this team and, and really focus on the things that we feel are important to prepare us for this season. And so, I look forward to getting back to football and, and getting around these guys and, and you know, doing the things they love to do, which is practice and playing this game of football. Marcus Freeman, congrats again on uh, your first full year as being the head coach there. I, again, your your journey to that spot was quite a whirlwind and uh, i look forward to watching you be the hc there for a long time to come good luck and let's do this uh again i appreciate the the number of times that you've already called in thank you thanks rich thanks for having me right back at you that's the head coach of notre dame football marcus freeman here on the rich eisen show